recall last week we told you about a new state law that requires car dealers to tell buyers if a used car has a safety recall. But that law does not apply to cars sold at government auctions. Action News investigates found one out of every five cars sold by the city of Pittsburgh had some kind of recall. Some of these cars were sold to police agencies, others to individuals. Ben Mancino thought he had found a good car at a reasonable price when he bought this 2005 Chevrolet Impala from the city of Pittsburgh at an online auction. But he did not know the car had an active recall for a faulty ignition switch. And not just any recall, but one of the biggest ever, resulting in an estimated 124 deaths and millions of dollars in settlements and fines paid by General Motors. Mancino learned about the recall not from the city, but from Action News Investigates. It may result in the airbags not deploying. Oh, geez. Increasing the potential for occupant injury in certain types of crashes. I had no idea. So they didn't no. tell you about this recall? Oh, no. If somebody don't call me and let me know or notify me that it needs to be done, it puts me and my family at risk. City records obtained by Action News Investigates show the city has sold 24 cars with active recalls since 2015. 19 percent of the total. Nine of the recalled cars, including Ben's, involved GM vehicles with the ignition problem. Mayor Peduto told Action News Investigates he did not know the city was selling cars with open recalls. Is it a concern that, that people who are buying these vehicles may be getting a vehicle that's not safe? I, I wouldn't think so. I mean, in the sense that any used vehicle comes with that as a, a possibility. But a national consumer advocate who has fought to prevent the sale of dangerous recalled cars tells Action News Investigates the city needs to do better. Pittsburgh needs to get its act together and make sure those cars are safe. Records show the city sold a Ford Taurus to Constable Kelly Morrissey in Altoona. It had an open recall for a fuel pump that could cause it to stall while driving without warning, which would increase the risk of a crash. Morrissey told Action News Investigates he was not aware of the recall when he bought the car. The city also sold a Taurus with a similar open recall to a sheriff in Butler County, Missouri. Does that raise the concern that there could be vehicles that police officers or inspectors are in that, that might need to be fixed? That's what concerns me. Ben Mancino's concerns go beyond the recall of his Chevy Impala. When he got the title to the vehicle, it showed the Chevy had been reconstructed. An expert tells me that means it was basically a rebuilt wreck. But records show that's not how the city sold it. This sales agreement from the city says the title has no restriction, but the title clearly says reconstructed. Mechanic Mike Wega owns an auto repair shop in Scott Township. Reconstructed means at some point in time the car was totaled. It was either in a flood, it was stolen, it was totaled, um, something to that nature, and uh, the car was put back together. Is that a concern for you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I'm buying an automobile and I've bought a number of used automobiles, I want to be able to check all the way back to every oil change. Action News Investigates asked City Controller Michael Lamb about Ben's title. That's fraud. I mean, that's, that's, that's a fraudulent transaction in my mind. Um, and, and if the city is participating in that, then, then we've got real problems. Do you feel like you've been deceived? Absolutely. I, I feel, you know, I feel taken advantage of. Now, the controller tells me in the wake of our investigation, he will take a hard look at recalls of city-owned vehicles in an upcoming audit. But anyone can check to see if a car they own or they'd like to buy has an active recall. All you got to do is take the vehicle identification number, or VIN, and run it through the government recall website at safercar.gov. We have a link at WTAE.com and our mobile app to that site.